The Great Search, where Lady Ada tries to find that codec thing. Oh, no, The Great Search, brought to you by DigiKey and Adafruit, where uh, we look at ways for you to find the thing that you're looking for on digikey.com. Thanks, DigiKey. Lady Ada, what is uh, this week's Great Search? Okay, so um, what I wanted to show was I've been hacking this bear, and it was kind of cool um, to see that inside... Oh, sorry, yes, put yeah. computer. The bear. Um, and inside there's this uh, Sonics chip and separately a Bluetooth uh, chip using the NRF51822, which is a chipset uh, I know and love because uh, we've used it many times um, to do Bluetooth connectivity. It's not a very powerful chip. It's like, I think, 16 or 32K of flash. Um, it's it's very minimal or RAM. It's very minimal. Um, it's good for Bluetooth, and but it's like, well, why not just have everything run on this chip? Well, this was designed in 2017, and um, this chip is actually a pretty powerful DSP that can do a lot. It's got native USB, it's got um, SD card interfacing, it's got uh, built-in audio. It's great for toys, uh, which is what it is. It's a, it's a toy chip set, or apparently also used for IP cameras. So they wanted to add Bluetooth. They added it with a Bluetooth low energy module. Now these days, the NR51 is like, I mean, it's not discontinued. You can still get it, but it's like very long in the tooth. Um, you'll probably want to go with an NRF52 or NRF53 uh, series. The NRF53 is a little newer. The NRF52 is definitely the workhorse of the Nordic family. Um, so I thought I'd show that you can get ready-to-go modules at DigiKey for doing your uh either adding Bluetooth to an existing design. Like it could be that you really cannot run your entire code on the NR52, although you should try because it's a Cortex uh, M4 chip. Um, and so it's quite powerful. You, you know, you'd be, so, or I think the 52, yeah, the 52840 is a Cortex M4, the 832 might be a Cortex M3, um, but they're very powerful processors, lots of flash, lots of RAM. So you might be able to do a lot of your design completely on that chip in which case you could use a module you know you pluck it in um it's got the antenna it's got the crystal it's got the passives it's got everything ready to go maybe even certifications or you can use it like this with you know some other chip that you are forced to use maybe you need a, a dsp you need a uh, risk five what, what have you and you can add it as an assistant chip so Let's go to DigiKey. I'll just close all these things about hacking this codec. Um, don't forget, DigiKey no longer has a dash. That's a big new thing. And it's a brighter red color. Uh, so let's go to Bluetooth modules. And uh, there's a whole area um, for modules and modems. There's also separately transceiver ICs, but I want... In particular, I want to show you guys um, modules that are ready to go. They'll speed up your development greatly. Uh, they usually come with a variety of different antenna options. They're tinned. They're certified for FCC, CE, Telic, you know, whatever, which can really speed up your certification process. You'll still need to do it for your, your finished product, um, but it's nice if the uh, intentional emitter is already done, so you don't have to worry about, like, oh, is that going to cause me any issues? Let's go with active and uh, let's go with normally stalking. What a coincidence, 840. That's the NRF52 840 is my favorite. And um, so look at what is available down here. Let me just bear out of the way. Lots of options. Um, so again, the modules, they come in various sizes, uh, but most of them are very small. This one is kind of cool because it's like, it's it's just micro miniature. It's got um and so you can look over here it says which ship this is the nr52 832 doesn't have native usb uh but is otherwise a very powerful chip with a lot of peripherals the only thing it doesn't have is usb uh the 833 did add usb i guess i haven't used that particular one but this is very very cute i like that it's like it's it's you know it's extremely compact it's a little bit more expensive than the non-compact version. Ubox makes a lot of great modules. Uh, I've definitely used them. This one is is also tiny. Um, you can see a little uh, antenna on there. Uh, so tiny, you need like a macro macro lens to get it. 
the, the Nordic chipset, though, U-Blocks makes modules for it, but they're not the only one. Uh, Panasonic also makes them as well. Um, but in particular, let's look for... You can actually search for what chip is inside, uh, which is kind of nice. Utilized IC part. So let's look for the NRF52. And then uh, we'll just select them all. Again, the 52 comes in a couple different configurations. The 811, I think, is either fewer pins or less RAM. Like, there's there's versions of this chip that are um, less RAM or less flash, less pins, you know, and you'll pay a little bit uh, less for them. So it depends on uh, whether you um, want the chip to run your entire program. You might need more flash, more RAM. You know, if you're making something like, a, you know, those uh air tags or tiles where it's just a, running a little bit of program or makes a bluetooth beacon um you can get away with very minimal um flash chips uh, flash pins and memory so you can see here the different memory configurations up to one mega flash and 256k of ram that's the nrf52 840. okay so looking at pricing um there's a few options so you can get uh nordic uh sorry nordic chips through the MDBT uh, series from Raytac. I've used Raytac, they're great. Um, these modules are fairly easy to place. They come with uh, PCB antennas or chip antennas. Usually chip antennas will get you a little bit more range, but they're a little more expensive because they have that antenna on there. Nothing's cheaper than just a trace on a PCB. So that's uh, gonna be inexpensive. Um, this 84, Sorry, NRF 52810 is also fairly inexpensive. It's about $5. Um, this one, 192K of flash, 24K of RAM. So it's the it's a little sister to the 840, basically, which has a uh, megabyte of flash and uh, 256K of RAM. Um, 52820. 832. Let's look at, um, let's not look at marketplace products. We'll just look at what's stocked immediately on DigiKey. So um, if you're actually just looking for like the absolute ch cheapest of all time, <laughs> um, the fan style modules are going to be very inexpensive. They're, they're bare bones, but they work very well. Um, they will come with, uh, PCB antennas, because again, they're very cost effective. However, they do all have FCC certification. Um, if you open up the data sheet, uh, they have uh, Telec, Australia, CE, I said, and they also have a QDID. Um, by the way, you will want that because if you don't have a QDID, uh, the Bluetooth um, group will email you and say you have to pay us for a QDID, which I found out um, after the fact. It's not well documented and explained. You do need to have it have a QDID. So that's quite handy. Um, but almost everything that comes from the Nordic family has it, except for the NRF 8001, which is very discontinued. So you're not going to probably be using that chip. Um, but this one's great. I mean, this is um, Cortex M4 64 megahertz. Again, it's uh, the little sister to the 840 um, just doesn't have a ton of flash and RAM, only 192K, but that's still a lot. Don't forget, you're going to have to share that with the soft device that needs to be loaded. I don't remember how big the soft device is, but I think it's like about half of that. Um, and if you want to do, you, you may not have enough space to do over the air updates because the soft device is taking up space. And then um, depending on whether you have a bootloader or whether you have uh, how much um, over the air slots you want to have got. If you don't do over the air, maybe this is okay. And only 24K of RAM. Again, you're going to have to share that with the soft device. But for very simple Bluetooth devices, you know, this could definitely do the job for you. Um, the 832 is also inexpensive, a little under four bucks. Here, uh, this has um, also 192K uh, of flash and 24k of ram um this one definitely doesn't have uh usb i don't know if the 805 does sounds like it doesn't but um the 832 is a slightly older uh family but looks like it's still available and we have a core for this chip as well so 
um, even though we don't support it, if you want to get started quickly, you can use the Adafruit 832 core um, to bootstrap strap your project. Looks like they have it available also with uh, a UFL connector, which is kind of handy if you want to have a nicer antenna. So these are uh, some options. I say like kind of hard to beat 250. Um, this is my pick for the great search. Very inexpensive Bluetooth friend. And that's a great search. Wait.